after the long trip back from Hartlepool on Saturday night, attention turned straight to Boston United at home tomorrow evening. Yeah, of course. Well, as soon as the game finished, we were looking forward to that. Um, they say long trip and that, but you know, we'll come in today and train and be ready. Yeah, hot ball on Saturday. Was it just one of them where the key moments didn't quite fall for us? Yeah, possibly. I think you know the game plan worked well. Um, you know, we knew it was a physical battle, which we, we stood up to, and you know they are yeah, going to cause teams a lot of problems there. So you know, weren't a lot in the game. First half, second half, obviously they get the sending off. Um, we just couldn't take advantage of, of one of the chances and if you do then it's three points but you know it's going to be a good point um, for a lot of teams that go there so yeah clean sheet move on to Tuesday yeah two points from two games against two tough opponents and looking to get that, that first win tomorrow evening listen we try and win every game you know Tuesday's no different so we'll go into that looking you know to try and get a result obviously um, so just trying to keep doing the right things all the time um, you know asking enough questions of our opponents uh, you know, and, and see where it takes us. Obviously, um, at home we we want to perform. Yeah, the changes you made on the, around the hour mark around Hartlepool really turned the game in our favour. And um, how important are those substitutes and changes to save the game? And yeah, I, I don't know about goal. changing it completely in our favour. We knew the game would stretch um, and open up, so having Bridgie ready to come on because um, we felt that that would be an area we might be able to use. Um, Norv's obviously coming back from injury, so. It was about building up his minutes, um, and obviously then being ten men helps as well. Of, of course, without it goes without saying. But yeah, we, we knew that would happen, and it's it's getting people up to speed as well. Yeah, Nor's been out for a long time, so how how good is it to have him back in in the match day squad? Yeah, absolutely. He's you know he's been a huge player for us over the last two or three years. So yeah, great to have him back. Um, it's important that you know we get him through a period of games training. You know. It, in one piece um, because it's going to be a long season obviously and we need him for, for all of it. Yeah, it's a bit busy schedule coming up with two games next weekend, four games in the next 12 days I think it is. How do you go about managing your squad in a busy period like this? Yeah, listen, I think it's the same challenge we've had. So I think, you know, we've win this league, it, it always comes about. Um, so it's up to the players to be ready. You know, when you're called upon, the, the squad will be used as it was Saturday. Um, but the focus is on tomorrow night, um, not looking too far ahead to the weekend. Uh, we'll deal with that once we get Tuesday out of the way. Yeah, Boston have an experienced manager in Ian Coblehouse and they'll be looking for their first win of the season. Uh, what sort of challenge do you, do you expect from them? Yeah, listen, I know you promoted teams come up and there is a level of difference, of course. Um, so I'm sure Ian, you know, he's really experienced and we'll be working that out. Obviously, a couple of results probably haven't gone the way they wanted them, but I'm sure they'll make it. They'll have learnt from that and want to improve, and will cause us problems. We, you know, watched their games and you know played some good stuff in it, you know, and had chances themselves. And, and there's moments that you get hurt in this at this level. So I'm sure they'll be working really hard to to come and get a result. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, two draws so far in the opening two games. Uh, you must be happy with a solid start despite not getting a win. Yeah, to a certain extent. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, would have liked to have. Got the three points Saturday, and it was just one of the moments where the Nor shot goes in, Gus's shot goes in, and you know Woody at the end um, turns it into three points. But you know we've gone and kept a clean sheet. Um, areas we know we need to improve, um, of course, which which hasn't changed. So you know, fingers crossed, we can do that. Um, but it's just about keeping lads' confidence good. Um, you know, get, getting the fans on our side at home and making it a real tough place for opponents to come. And, you know, we've got to give the fans something for that to happen. And, and likewise, they'll feed off that. And you know, they've been un unbelievable for us at home. And, you know, we need them to be at their full best again. And we need to, to be at our best. And you must be pleased with the sort of defensive shape that your team have, have had early in, in the season, carrying on from last year. Yeah, listen, I think it's always important to have a, a solid base. Um, probably the hardest area to pitch is the top end um, so you know every year we've been here we've improved the amount of goals we've scored we want to do that again this year um, so you want to marry the two of course um, but yeah listen solid base which is good uh, but always looking to improve um, Boston United on Tuesday night it's the first of four games in, in the space of 12 days a win there and you could kick start a winning run that would be really important for you wouldn't it I'm not looking forward to uh, too far ahead the other games listen focused on tomorrow night um, get the performance right you know and hopefully the right result can come um, but you've got an opponent who's thinking the same so you know we've got to be bang at it 
um, to get a result. And new signing Josh Walker's had consecutive starts. Have you been pleased with what you've seen from him so far? Yeah, this will be you see him pre-season. He's he's a very good finisher. Um, probably need to get him and Cards a little bit more service. Um, but yeah, listen, we think they've got the potential to be a, a good partnership. And you know, Danny Waldron come on as well the weekend. Um, so yeah, pleased with Walks. You know, he's worked ever so hard as well. So he buys into everything we do, and you know, I'm sure he'll he'll score plenty of goals. And just the one goal so far. I know it's only been two games, but are you confident that goals will start flowing once they've, the, um, Josh and the others have had a bit more time playing together? Yeah, I'm sure. It's, um, it's not as though we didn't have chances the weekend. So, um, yeah, it's, a, it's an area I want them to improve on and we're looking to add to. Um, so I'm sure once we, you know, confidence comes by scoring one or two goals, then you know, it'll help the rest of the team. Obviously, great to have Nor back on Saturday. How's he feeling now, having played 30 minutes? You will find out today when he comes in. So I'm sure he'll be fine. He's a fit lad anyway. Um, he's done a lot of work off the pitch, you know. But it's always different when you come on and, and play in, in a full-blown game. So we'll set up the scene today. Um, see as we acted. I'm sure he'll be okay. And just finally, are you confident that you can get the new bodies through the door that you're hoping in areas that you're hoping to improve in? Yeah, I think, like I say, we're, we're always looking. Um, we know the area we want to add into, um, so we're trying, and, and fingers crossed something will happen. Thanks, Kev. Um, with Noah, is it gradually sort of building it up now? Because he yeah. hadn't had that pre season, does he? And those probably not something you throw straight into the starting lineup now. Yeah, I think it's something obviously be guided by uh, the medical department and sports science because it's difficult in terms of not having a pre-season and then you know the tempo of games and what that looks like both so there's managing him at the right time and you know when's the right time to, to put him in or, or build his minutes up so it's something we've got to monitor here and with the signage is there anything close anything maybe before tomorrow or what's the sort of not the minute no not the minute still you know behind the scenes it's, it's not as easy as uh, we want it to be sometimes um, but we're all working hard behind the scenes